in any kind of application a navigation bar is very important because with the help of navigation bar it is easy for a user to navigate from one screen to another now in our power apps how we can create and use a vertical navigation bar hi i'm gorab from knowhow academy so in power apps you can create your vertical navigation bar very easily and with the help of the vertical navigation bar you can navigate from your one screen to another screen now before moving further let me tell you what we are going to do in this video in this video we are going to create a component in our power apps application then we will create a custom property and use that in our app and we will create a vertical navigation menu in our power apps so first on create i will create a blank application i will name it navigation app now we have our screen one so i will duplicate the screen this is screen two screen three and screen four now in our screen one i will take a text label and i will name it screen one after that i will copy this label i will go to my screen two paste here this will be our screen two screen 3 paste text will be screen 3 and final i will write here screen final now first of all we need to create a component so for that i will navigate to components click on new component i will name it left nav after that i will set the height to 760 and width will be 150 let me correct it will be 150 after that we will take a blank vertical gallery so i will select vertical blank vertical gallery now we know we need to add the data source in our gallery but we don't use any sharepoint list here so i will go to my component and here in the new custom property i will write menu items the data property definition will be input and the data type will be table i will click create after that i will click on my menu table here i will format the text first will be our name i will write here home then i will take icon so i will write icon for the home icon i will take icon dot home and after that i will write navigate to which will be screen one after that i will copy this screen second screen third and screen fourth this will be screen four so i will change the icon type here i will write document with content i will write all notifications then i will write document screen will be screen three and here will be documents then add screen 2 icon will be add after that here you can see we have four items for our four screens we have taken the icons and the navigate to for the reference now in our gallery I will write my custom property which will be first my component name dot menu item after connecting the gallery we need to adjust the formatting of gallery first so for the position by position I will write 0 for the size the width will be parent dot width and the height will also be 
transparent dot height I will turn off the scroll bar now in our gallery I will reduce the height of our gallery item then I will take text label I will decrease the width in the text I will write this item dot let me check the table again menu item it was name now in our icon I will write this item dot icon also I will increase the text height here the Y will be 26 and the font size will be 10 now we will add a button here for the navigation so I will insert button now after that I will select my gallery item and insert a button here I will increase the width and the height of our button I will remove the button text and the button color will be transparent now in my button on select I will write the navigate this item dot navigate to also in my gallery I will set the color to black after that I will set my icon color to white and also my label to white now after that we will insert this navigation bar in every screen so here I will insert custom left nav it's added now in my screen 2 I will click paste screen 3 paste screen 4 paste now I will click on preview so I am navigated to screen second but this doesn't look good so for that I will go back to my component now in our button I will set RGBA to transparent 0 0 0 and 0 also the hover fill will also be the same and now when I preview the navigation is working perfectly but we are unable to get on which screen we are present from our navigation bar so for differentiation I will go back to my component here in my gallery now in our gallery I will select the template fill and add a condition in the template fill I will write if this item dot navigate to is equal to app dot active screen then the color will be RGBA 25 33 43 and 1 else it will be RGBA 10 12 16 and 1 after that I will close my if condition now I will go back in my screen click on preview now as you can see we are on that particular screen which is highlighted in our left navigation menu when I click on documents it is highlighted so this is how you can create your vertical navigation menu in power apps using a component so in this video we learn how to create and use a component in our power apps we learned how we can use our custom property and then we created our vertical navigation menu and also we added a condition to highlight the selected screen option thank you for choosing know-how academy as your it source we are always there to help you navigate to the tech world it's been a pleasure sharing this information with you so stay curious and keep learning.